Warning, this is not a professional, this is a matter of perspective and personal opinions. Take a lot of what you hear with a grain of salt and don't take it seriously. I've listened to a lot of people. I've heard a lot of people's stories. I've been listening to people, other friends I've listened to. So I sit there and I analyze people when they when when I when we have these talks and when I more importantly when I give them advice. Because when I give someone advice, that's me genuinely trying to help. I've got a lot of stories to tell, not just of my own, but of others. For particular reasons that I'm not going to mention just yet, when I give you advice, when I listen is the first step. When I give you advice is when I try. Not saying I'm not trying when I'm listening. To to, to give a visual description, that is how I'd phrase it. And that's precisely why when I give advice to people, I look at them carefully. Because I want to know whether they're actually listening. It doesn't matter whether it's my advice or not. It doesn't matter whose it is. Just the fact that I've given them advice and seeing them improve gives me this dopamine. That's just the way I work as a human. It's just my systems. I just get happy when that happens. I like it. That's just me. Whether I give myself credit about it or not is an entirely different story, but it makes me happy. Uh, I'm hesitant to call him a friend at this point because he's not acting like one. He's a, he's a buddy I met at, I met in high school. I got along with him really well at a certain point. This, this is just another reason why I'm so fucking disappointed with him today. He hasn't listened to a word I've said. He's a massive letdown. I met him at a Tim Hortons a couple days ago because I messaged him. Basically yelled at him and was like, hey, you know what? Friend, we've got some shit to talk about. Meet me at the nearest Tim's. I don't care if you're busy. I said, I don't care if you're fucking asleep. I don't care if you're playing Destiny, I don't care if your mother's making you do chores. We got shit to talk about, five minutes, and he listened, funny enough. I was pissed off that day. I was ready to meet any one of my friends who who I had a personal gripe with, right there on the street and tell them what for. Sadly, he was the target that day. He's like, Jesus, Nick, I don't don't see you like this too often. What's going on? And I said to him, I was like, you haven't messaged me in 46, 50 days, maybe? At the least, at the latest, right? And this is a guy I've known since high school, so obviously I said to him, Where the fuck have you been? And he he gives me the answer I expected. Not a yes or a no, but a... uh, Takes him like a good minute to respond, and before he could even answer, I whip out Peanuts. uh, Peanuts collar, because I carry it with me in my jacket everywhere I go, and I slam it on the desk in front of him, and I tell him to fucking look at it. And he takes a minute to soak in what I'm implying right there. And I say to him, Where the fuck were you when that happened? He's been playing Destiny all day. Playing video games all day. Putting that above everything. So when I slam the collar down that night, Tim Hortons, when I'm looking in the eye, he's like taking in that, you know, peanut past. And he's, and he, and he, and and before he can look at me and say, I'm sorry, because I can tell he was just about to say that, I look at him and I say to him, like, let me guess, you were playing fucking Destiny. He hasn't been doing chores. He, he hasn't even moved on to college. He hasn't found a job, he's manipulative, he'll trick and lie to do what he wants to get his way. So it's like when he has to do the chores or whatever, he'll often say, oh, I'm going to do it, and then trick his mom or someone else in the household into doing it for him, so he can just go and play Destiny all day. And this is why I get so fucking pissed off, because I remember every time I see him, or used to see him, I never see him anymore because he doesn't give a shit about me, so I stopped caring about him. But when we used to hang out, I'd help him through all this shit and all this friend drama and stuff like that. And I remember every time I'd hang around him, he he'd 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 try his best to be the best best version of himself, right? He wouldn't be as toxic to people as he usually was. He'd actually diet down a lot because he'd want to look good in front of me. And I can say this with confidence now because of his change. But I didn't really see it at first. I thought, oh, that's the kind of person he is. He's a very very nice and chill guy. But I I sadly fell into maybe one of his little tricks because I thought that of him for a bit too long. I was like, oh fuck, he's just not good at this. Maybe I need to teach him. Maybe I need to show him what a real friend is like, a good, good friend. And you know what? I was, I did that. I spent all those years and I invested my time into him. And this is something I said to him at the Tim Hortons that night when I was royally pissed. I said to him, I was like, you know what? You want to know why I get emotional every time I I, I, I think of the, the, the concept of, of, of Brady, Edwards, Troy, any of them. Matthew, you want to know why I get emotional and tear up sometimes at the thought of thinking about the future? Because the, the idea of a future without any of them in it absolutely petrifies me. That's why I get emotional. That's why I cry about it. Because a future without any of them 
is terrifying to me, and that's why I'm so emotional about it. And I said to him, I was like, and you want to know why I, I'm so attached to those particular people? Because unlike you right now, today, I could look at all of them and see how much they've changed, and see how much they've grown, and see that the time I've invested into them has paid off. Time is a form of currency, and you have it in a bank. But imagine you can't see how much money is in your bank. I can't open up my phone right now, log into the TV app, and see how much money I got in the bank to spend it on what I want. Time's like that, but you can't see how much is in the bank. You just know you got a bank, and people say that's how long you got to live. You want to know what your currency in that bank is? It's time. Put your time in what you want it to be. If you want to spend your, if you want to spend your whole life getting to know people, making the best friends, building your own family, then invest time into people. Look at people as, as like a bar here, right? Which is trust, because that's what friendship is. That's what it comes down to, trust. Your time is your currency. That currency is going to fill the bar. Depending on you, how you choose to live your life will dictate whether that, gar, whether that bar goes up or down. That, that's what it's all coming down to, is that bar is going to go up or down. And that's going to dictate how you feel. If you want to feel a certain way, if you want to live life a certain way, and that bar hits rock bottom, then you're not going to feel anything, because you don't care about how that person feels. You don't care about that person thinks. That's just, cho that's just the mindset you have. That's just the way you've chosen to live life. But if you're a person like me, then that bar is going to make or break a lot of thoughts you have in life. And I say to him, so let's look at your bar right now and see how much time I've invested into you. My bank, I like to think, is still pretty full. I've got a lot of my life ahead of me. And you want to know the best part about the, my bank currently? Is I'm happy with the amount of time I've invested in people. I'm happy with the time I've invested in certain people. There are certain people who I can say for certain right now that if I were to die tomorrow, I'd be happy I invested the time I invested into them. That was a good investment. That was one of the greatest investments I've ever done. And it didn't even involve real money. In fact, it involved the best form of currency I have to offer anyone. And that's my time. So when I invest my time into someone, I expect them to be fucking grateful. Especially today. Because I'm nowhere near as depressed as today as I was in elementary school. And while I don't have to ask Brady, or while I don't have to ask Edwards, or while I don't have to ask any of them whether they're grateful, I'm going to assume they are. And I have a feeling I'm right. I'm automatically assuming that people are grateful for hanging out with me. And if people want to think that's egotistical, let them. That's fine. That's okay. I can see why you'd think that'd be egotistical. But that's just the way I think today. Call me that. I don't care what you call me. I was like, you know what? I've invested a lot of time into you. For once in a long time, I'm realizing that maybe all that time I've invested in this in this person, and I'm looking at him when I'm saying all this, wasn't fucking worth it. Because you've taken all that time I've put into you and hidden it. I don't know what you did with it. I don't know where it went. You burnt it, you, 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 turned, you made it invisible, you casted a spell. I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what you did. All that time I invested into you, all that time I put in, are you grateful? And this got me even more pissed off. Like hearing him say these things got me angry. It got me so angry because I've, I've heard him say this before. And, and usually I have pretty high patience with people. I don't have high patience in life. I'm not a patient guy. I'm usually very patient with people. So hearing someone say the same thing over and over and over and over again, at least in a phil philosophical sense, like hearing someone say one week, I'm trying. And then hearing them say three weeks later, I'm trying. And then hearing them say it again, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I can get that a lot. I, I'm patient enough to hear you say that a lot, especially if you're someone I care about. But for someone like him to, to, to wait this long, <laughs> only to go back, to, to, to backtrack so, so, so much, to take all that time I've invested in you and to just put an invisibility cloak over the entire thing, is not only insulting to me, but for once I got genuinely angry to hear someone say I'm sorry. Usually when I hear someone say I'm sorry, especially with someone like him, who I care about, when I hear them say I'm sorry, 90% of the time, I'll believe ya. 
I will believe you. But this was one of the few, few, few times in life where I heard someone, a friend especially, say I'm sorry, and I didn't believe them. If you were sorry, you wouldn't have taken all that time I've invested into you and made it so hard to see. That's not what being sorry is. Stop telling me you're fucking sorry, because you're not. But because I feel I gave him enough of an emotional banging, I, I decided um, might as well end today on a good note. Continue being the nice guy. So I said to him, let's go get a drink. And we did. We went to get a drink, we talked about life, pulling conversations out of his ass, because he knew I was, I didn't want to, I just didn't, I didn't, he didn't know what was going through my head at the time. Nothing good. But he was so, so I saw so I humored him and I, and I listened and I, and I we talked uh, and, and I said to him before we left I said uh, so before you w walk back to your house and I say this to him I was like I'm not gonna message you at all I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop trying because you stop trying so I'm gonna stop trying don't expect a message from me because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna care anymore you stop caring so I'm gonna stop caring. Uh, you, you clearly don't understand everything I've been trying to teach you. None of it came to your brain, so it's just, you know what? For once, I've given up. I've given up on a friend. So I say to him, if you still do care, and if you still did listen to a damn word I said tonight, then shoot me a message sometime fucking soon. If destiny will allow you to. Or not. It doesn't really matter to me anymore, now does it? Because I got other people to invest my time in. I still got a lot of it left. Looked at me for a few minutes before I gave him a good smile and just walked away. <laughs>